So let's dig down a little bit more and find out more precisely what you'd be looking for when you were rereading. Factual information. This might be an example of a fact, which might be a mammal, has hair, is warm-blooded, uh, produces milk for their offspring, and uh, births live. They don't hatch an egg like a, like a bird. So factual information would be important. Textbooks give reasons. Something like water boils at sea level at 100 degrees Celsius, that would be your note. Conditional ideas are important. If the species of arthropods grow, they molt or shed their exoskeleton. So if the animal is an arthropod, it would molt as it grows. Cause and effect categories would be important to note. Um, cicadas grow into adulthood and they shed their skin. So the cause, the growth of the arthropod, the growth of the cicada, causes them to molt. We think in categories and note-taking can be done that way. For example, fruits, you might list banana, apple, pear, or uh, perhaps clothing items, shirt, pants, belt. Associations are important when reading and note-taking. Uh, the red of a traffic light is associated with stop. We think in symbols, and uh, you could note the symbols, perhaps Uh, let's see, the other symbols are like an equal sign. Maybe this is a symbol. The, um, get the idea. And symbols could actually be noted as this. It's a shortcut for actually taking the note. Abbreviations. Noteworthy information comes in short phrases or groups from maybe the States of the Union or First Cousins, perhaps um, 30 different flavors of ice cream. Relationships have a lot of categories to them. The relationships that textbooks will give to you, you'll notice you'll have opposites. That's a relationship. Up, down, sweet, sour. Size is a relationship. Uh, small, medium, large. We have family relationships. Maybe grandmother, mother, daughter, or brother, sister. Use. Um, a stove is used for cooking, perhaps. Um, a wrench is used for tightening or loosening pipes. Age is a category that's noteworthy. Perhaps we have old and new, or old and young. There's a difference. We, we, we wouldn't use a, a new person. Uh, that would be a young person. But old could couple with new, too. Like the new version of a, of the, uh, of a car. Part to whole, like a leg is part of a table. Then we also have information as whole to part. Maybe uh, a, a whole loaf of bread has many slices. So we have our part to whole and whole to part relationship. 
other noteworthy information is function. Perhaps um, you can associate an acorn grows into an oak tree. That's the, that's the seed, that's the function of that acorn. Information is given to us in kinds, like uh, eagles and ducks are two kinds of birds. Symbols. Here again, we did symbols before where it was an actual category where some, some figure actually meant one, two, three in this case. This kind of symbol is more of a grouping of words that symbolize something else. For example, uh, a four-leaf clover could symbolize good luck or uh, bad luck might be the number 13. So this type of symbolizing it would be with a grouping of words, perhaps in fiction, but it could also be in like the social studies, something like that. Real to fantasy. Um, horses are real, unicorns are fictional. How is a, a category that's noteworthy? Um, perhaps you could say a, a car travels on a road, a train travels on a track. That would be how. Synonyms, envy, jealousy, um, nice, pleasant. Time is noteworthy. Minutes, hours, days, months, year. We would, could note degree. Um, degree might be um, words like warm, hot, scalding. Would you like to take a warm shower? How about a hot shower? Would you ever take a scalding shower? Those are degrees of heat. Or uh, commonly good, better, best. Sequential order is helpful when note taking. So you might have like elementary, secondary, and college for in a category, a sequential category of schooling or education. Or you could have first, second, third. Characteristics are also often explained in textbooks. Uh, a porcupine has quills. That's a characteristic of a porcupine. And uh, perhaps purpose. Uh, seat belts are used for protection.